<laughs> so pretty straightforward, right? We have a closed interval, and we have a function that's differentiable, right? So the first thing that I always want to do is just make sure that I have my critical numbers. So I'm going to differentiate f prime of x is going to equal 12x cubed minus 12x squared. Correct? OK, but then we got to set that equal to 0 to find any critical numbers. And I see that this is factorable, and that I could factor out a 12x squared. right? So I'll factor out a 12x squared. By factoring out 12x squared, I'm left with x minus 1. Then uh, now I can apply the zero product property. Uh, applying the zero product property, I get 12x squared equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0. Therefore, I can solve. I get x equals 0 and x equals 1. So everybody follow me with finding my critical numbers. OK, so these are my critical numbers. However, we also need to test our endpoints to be able to find our extrema. So I am going to just start with the, the lowest here. I'll start with f of negative 1. Then I'll go to f of 0. Then I'll evaluate for f of 1. And I evaluate for f of 2. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, for our extrema to occur, it has to be, excuse me, has to either be at our endpoints or um, at our critical numbers. So just doing this math in my head, so this would be negative 1 to the fourth power is 1. one 3 times 1 is 3. And that's going to be a negative. Negative 4 times negative 1 is going to be a positive 4. So I don't remember getting 7. Yeah, I did get 7. f of 0 is obviously going to give you 0. f of 1 is going to give you negative 1. And if I did f of 2, 2 to the fourth power is going to be 16. 3 times 16 is going to be 48. Yes? I didn't get that shortcut. I think it's the wrong way to do it. OK. So we do 3 times negative 1 to the fourth power minus 4 times negative 1 cubed. Negative 4 multiplied by itself 4 times is going to be a positive 1. Negative 1 multiplied by itself 3 times is going to be either you negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 would be a positive 4. It was probably a yeah, small mistake there. And so when I do f of 2, I get 16. So therefore, another way to write our absolute max and our mins, ladies and gentlemen, is we can write them as our coordinate points. So you guys can see that my coordinate point, 1 comma negative 1, is my absolute min. And my point 2 comma 16 is my absolute max. OK, so you can write the value as your max or min, or you could also write them as coordinate points. <laughs>